Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about the new teasers that have been released for next week's episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so The Flash is having a new episode out on the 30th. Right now it's Monday, so it's coming out on Wednesday. We're going to be getting a new episode which is officially titled Phantoms. We'll talk more about that episode later in the video, but first things first, we're going to be breaking down the synopsis and the photos and everything that has been teased for the episode afterwards. And that episode is episode 10, because episode 9 is coming up this week on Wednesday with Phantoms. And so the next episode, episode 10, is titled Reckless. And so that is coming out on the 6th of April. So first things first, we're going to be going through the synopsis for the April 6th episode of The Flash titled Reckless. So this is how it goes with bated breath. Barry's desire to keep Team Flash safe is tested when Frost recklessly courts danger as she tries to stop the Black Flame. Meanwhile, Iris tries to help a teen girl reunite with her mother but unintentionally does more harm than good. So that is a synopsis for the episode. That is very interesting. So if we break it down bit by bit, and I'm sure the photos somehow link into it. So what they're teasing in this episode is, we're going to be getting that main villain who is now officially titled the Black Flame, or at least that is his temporary name that they are referring to him as. At least our characters in Team Flash are gonna be talking about him, like saying, oh, the Black Flame. And so it seems, They've now got a better track of who they are and basically Caitlyn, well Frost actually, has gone after them and is trying to stop them and could that mean there is some sort of link? Now, we've all been theorizing that the Black Flame, this new villain in The Flash's new graphic novel, is almost very very likely to be Ronnie Raymond but resurrected and all different and people have been comparing him to when Ronnie was actually Black Lantern in the comics. And so I do really think this is a high possibility. And now, especially with Frost going after the Black Flame, it potentially suggests that there is some sort of connection. Because why would Frost want to go after the Black Flame by herself? It seems she has some sort of ulterior motive and that's why she's going after the Black Flame. And so throughout this episode, Barry is going to be trying to keep Team Flash safe. But that's obviously jeopardized when Frost goes after the villain. And it seems like that's as much as we know in regards to what Barry's going to be doing in this episode. And it seems it's mainly going to be centered around like Frost and what she's doing with the villain. And then Barry's going to be trying to stop Frost and try and, you know, get involved because it seems she's gone out rogue. And then in the meantime, you have Iris who tries to help a teen girl reunite with her mum, but unintentionally does more harm than good. So it seems they are keeping Iris relatively separate from a lot of the story like they did last episode. So it seems like she's really going down her own path as a journalist and same with CC Citizen Media. And Allegra is going to be heavily involved in those stories. However, there is definitely going to be links between all of them. And it's not like Iris has given up on being a Team Flash member forever. Because you can see in you know, these upcoming photos which we're going to be breaking down in just a minute for this episode that Allegra is with Team Flash and she's not like completely separate. It's just that we haven't really seen Iris involved in what's happened in the last couple of episodes because she's been off specifically with her journalism. But let's go ahead and break down the photos for this episode. So the first photo that was released is this. So Barry Grant is standing here inside what could be the speed lab, it could be Chester's lab, and it could be any other room to be honest, like I can't crack down exactly what it is. However, Barry is actually talking to who the synopsis references, that being Frost of course, and you see in the next photo they are in the same room and they are talking, I don't know if this is before or after, I would presume maybe it's before, however it's some sort of conversation that will lead into what Frost does in this episode and as we mentioned in the synopsis Frost is going to be going after the villain and Barry is going to be struggling to keep Team Flash safe especially with Frost going rogue like that. So let's move on to the next photo we have a photo of Chester and he is just you know at control stations on his computer I don't know what he's specifically looking at but something on the computer you would presume and then if we move on to the next bit 
we have Chester with Barry and again probably talking to Frost because it's the same location and then we get an even wider shot and Allegra is included in the scene so it seems they're going to band together that being Allegra, Chester and Barry to try and maybe stop what Frost is doing or to help Frost in the end is probably what their eventual goal for this episode is going to be. Obviously they want to get closer to finding out who is the Black Flame and how can they stop them. I mean there's always the chance by this episode we could have found out who it is maybe at some point in this episode. I highly doubt that on this Wednesday's episode we're going to find out who the Black Flame is. However, if it turns out to be Ronnie Raymond, I think they won't hesitate to reveal it. And I look forward to if that is the case because we know Ronnie's in a couple of episodes. We know he actually came up to Vancouver and he shot like, I don't know, at least two episodes. It was reported on, so it's not like completely out of nowhere. So we have just close photos, just like a kind of alternate shot of the scene. So these photos don't give us like that much information about what exactly is going on this episode apart from a couple of conversational scenes. Like we go over to this. We're in some sort of diner, it looks like. I don't know where specifically it is, to be honest. Or some sort of cafe. There is like a post on the wall about eating certain types of food every day. But you guys can correct me on if we've actually seen this location. I have genuinely no idea. Well, it looks like a fancy kitchen, if it is a kitchen. So I don't think it's a kitchen. Anyway, so we have Joe and Cecile joining the scene because obviously before we had Chester, Allegra and also Barry. And they are in conversation, Barry's talking to Cecile and Joe, and it seems like Allegra and Chester are kind of just like listening in on the scene, and they'll all give their thoughts and opinions on what's going on, and you can kind of presume they're probably talking about what Frost has been doing, or maybe one of the plans. I don't know why they end up in this specific location, because it's not a location that we always go to, so I'm curious to see what's actually going on in this scene. But let's move on to the next thing. So. We're going to be talking about this week's episode, so the synopsis goes like this and we're going to be breaking down the photos which were just released as well. So this episode on Wednesday is titled Phantoms, so this is how it goes, the fire within. Barry and Team Flash get closer to figuring out the fire meta, but no closer to finding him. Meanwhile, Iris, needing a distraction, follows the story to Coast City. Now you guys will know Coast City from the comics if you are a comic book reader, or you've just heard of the city, because that is where Hal Jordan, Green Lantern, is from. Now I don't think there is any possibility we're going to see Hal Jordan in this episode, in episode 9, like in two days time. Like, there is no way that we're going to see that. So. I wonder what story Iris is specifically chasing in Coast City, and it's interesting because we haven't been there that many times, or as far as I can remember, like, I can't even recall going there at all to be honest, but I got a feeling we went there like once or twice to be honest. However, I can't confirm that, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but it's interesting that Iris is going to be going to Coast City, we're going to be following her there, and she needs a distraction from what's going on because I presume it's something to do with Barry and Team Flash getting closer to figuring out the fire meta, but also Iris is so busy with CC Citizen Media that she probably wants to get away from the office and actually do some reporting because right now she is in that editing role where she's in charge of everything and she is basically telling people what to do and isn't doing much of the reporting because she is the boss. Okay, so this episode is titled Phantoms, and we got a casting announcement a while ago to do with Tinya Wiseau, and she is a character from the comics, and she is known as Phantom Girl. So you could presume that maybe Tinya is going to be showing up in this episode, and she is a member of the Legion of Superheroes from the comics, if you guys didn't know. And so there is also the other possibility that Phantoms means there is someone from the past, a ghost from the past coming back to haunt Team Flash and that leads into our theory which we've discussed in this video and in previous videos that the fire meta could be someone like Ronnie Raymond who has come back from the dead and that would classify it as a phantom from the past essentially and so they are getting closer and closer in this episode to finding out who that fire meta is and where they are and what their intentions are however they specifically reference the fire meta as a him in this synopsis, 
So from that we can infer, yes this is a male, which leads us more towards Ronnie Raymond once again. But let's move on to go over the final photos for this episode, so not included in the synopsis is in fact the return of Sue Dearborn. You can see Sue in this scene, she is at CC System Media, Iris is here and Allegra is here, and it seems Sue has shown up for a specific reason. I mean, Sue does pop up every once in a while to help out specifically with Iris and Allegra quite a lot. However, she normally has a reason that she's back. And so with this episode, with the fire meta going around, maybe somehow she's been impacted or is she here for the Coast City story that Iris is going to be doing? I would say the latter is probably more likely because she is normally heavily linked to Iris. And if Iris is going to Coast City, maybe this is where Sue has been and maybe Sue has a link to whatever is going on in Coast City that leads Iris over there. And so that would be very interesting, but I'm just very happy to have Sue back because I do really like Sue. I think she is a fun presence whenever she is around. Okay, so let's move on to the next photo. This is in Chester's lab at Star Labs. And so Chester is on the left, we've got Allegra as well, and Frost, and also we have Cecile. And so I can't tell what they're specifically talking about, but it's some sort of conversation about whatever is going down in this episode. And again, they are doing research to try and track down the fire meta and try and figure out who they are and, you know, how their powers specifically work. Obviously, Chester found out a bit of information about how their powers work in terms of cold fusion being the source of fire or the thing that burns the bodies, essentially. So not your normal kind of fire and so that leads everyone to believe that if it is a undead resurrected version of firestorm or firestorm from another earth it would be deathstorm and somehow they will manipulate his powers so it's cold fusion and it will look different and maybe it could potentially be blue maybe the color of the fire around firestorm that would be very interesting and it would make a lot of sense because cold you know you kind of associate it with blue Anyway, let's move on, and we have this photo right here, and Barry is with Chester. It seems like Chester is working on whatever they are working on, probably some sort of device in order to track the new meta. And so Barry is just, you know, waiting around, and Chester is just doing his thing, I guess. And so back over at CC System Media, we have Sue once again. This is just a kind of medium shot of her. And it seems like she's, you know, in her normal gear. She's not in any, like, kind of combat-ready gear that she sometimes shows up in. So she's not in the middle of a fight. So she is here probably to recruit Iris to go to the other city, like I mentioned. And the final photo that I have is of Allegra. And she is just sitting in the office once again with Iris and also Sue. And so I'm looking forward to seeing what Allegra and Iris are going to do in this episode because I do think it's possible that Allegra comes along for the ride. Although it's definitely going to be Sue and Iris if I'm going to lay out any predictions. I don't know if we're going to get the reveal of who Devstorm is because the next synopsis that we talked about earlier seems to tease. We know their name, we know that they are Black Flame or that's what they are referring to the villain as. And actually from that name you can definitely infer that maybe it wouldn't be a Blue Flame or something like that. If it's a Black Flame and it is, say, Ronnie Raymond, he's definitely going to come back with a black flame like you know when he powers up he's gonna have flames around him that instead of being the normal color of fire will in fact be black and I think that is an interesting twist and an interesting visual difference that will make the two characters very distinct from each other but what do you guys think about all of this are you excited for the new episode of the flash this week as we get closer and closer to finding out who this new villain is do you feel as confident as I do that possibly it's going to be Firestorm but an alternate version of him or an undead version of him? I'll be releasing my review of this week's episode on Wednesday night after the flash airs so please be sure to turn on notifications and subscribe to not miss that video. Also leave a like and a comment to help out this video, it really does help if you guys just take the time to do that because it gets the video spread out there a bit more. And also you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
I see red.